Hello and welcome to this week's video on religious trauma. My name is Angel DeSantis. If this is your first video with me, hello and welcome. I grew up in a cult called the Children of God and I make these videos on religious trauma. And I also have a website where I talk you through some stuff. So go check it out. The link is below. But in this video this week, I want to talk about being ready to heal. And it might seem like, of course, I'm ready to heal. Of course, I don't want to feel this pain. But because you grew up in a religiously traumatic environment, it teaches you two things that are incredibly detrimental. One is that you are completely incapable. And two is that the world is basically bad and there aren't any good people out there besides maybe in the church. But then if you realize that that's bad, then all of a sudden you're out in the world, you feel super incapable and you're worried that everyone is really, really bad. That was my experience that I had. Maybe it's similar to yours as well. But what that does is it makes you unable to reach out for healing because people are probably running a scam after all. People probably don't actually want you to get better. They probably want to keep you feeling incapable. That can be the narrative that you're stuck in because you already feel incapable. And so it's kind of a double-edged sword to use biblical language where you feel incapable and you think that no one will help you and you can't even help yourself. And in order to begin healing, the thing that you need to uncover is not someone else to help you. The thing that you need to uncover is that you are ready to heal. So I want to just ask you that question, the simple question of what part of you are you ready to begin healing? That's it. That's the question. And it's an interesting question because a lot of stuff comes up. Generally, sometimes I will say the first reaction is I'm ready to heal everything. But when you do that, it's too generalized and it's too big of a task and it can immediately be overwhelming, especially if your brain is on trauma. <laughs> um, if you're in a traumatic, a traumatic brain environment, when you think of the scope, of what you have to heal, it immediately reminds you that you're incapable and so you don't even start. And you go back to that externalizing the need to fix the problem. But again, the mindset that needs to change is the idea that you are capable. And if you are capable, then it allows you to step up for yourself and begin the healing process yourself. So even if the worry that the rest of the world is basically bad, even if that's there. If you have the thought that you're capable, that there's something inside of you that is capable of healing yourself, that is the thought that will save you. So what part of yourself are you ready to heal? And pick one thing. And for me, the part of myself, the very first thing that I picked to heal was the feeling of being enough because obviously you're taught that <laughs> you're not enough without Jesus. You can't do anything, can't even walk unless he's holding your hand. So that was the first thing that I healed was I really, I wanted to believe that I was enough. And that was the first thing that I was willing to heal. And once I healed that, then I was willing to look for something else because I thought, well, if I was good enough to heal one thing, is there anything else that, that I am ready to heal? And it does matter that you are ready or not. And you don't have to be ready right now because there is so much of a landscape to uncover and recover after growing up in a traumatic environment. It's okay if you don't have the energy to do that right now. And sometimes we feel this guilt feeling of like, well, I should always be working to improve myself. I should always be like on the lookout and standing in the gap and ready to like go to war. And that is the mindset that the religion gave you that idea of hypervigilance and always improving yourself and always needing to like be at the forefront and then feeling guilty for it. That's not your mindset. That's not normal. That is something that was given to you in your traumatized brain. And now your traumatized brain is hypervigilant. And I have a video that I'll link here on hypervigilance. If nothing shows up, by the way, there should be a bubble over here that you can click and something will slide out because sometimes I get those questions. Um, but I wanted to ask you what you are ready to heal and also to let you know that it's okay if the answer is nothing 
but just acknowledge that. And then um, allow yourself to not feel incapable if you're not ready to heal anything. That's the, a normal part of the healing journey is feeling overwhelmed and feeling like, you know what, today I don't wanna heal anything. And that's fine. You don't have to heal anything today. And maybe you feel differently tomorrow. Maybe you feel differently in six months or two months or two years. But if you asked yourself the question, what am I willing to start healing today? Does anything come to mind? Does a desire come up that you're willing to heal? And if something does, then I invite you to take one super small, the easiest action possible. And for me, when I wanted to heal from not feeling worthy and I wanted to believe that I was enough, I tried to think it and I couldn't. And that was the start of my healing journey is that I tried to think something and I couldn't think it, so I left it alone and I tried it again later. But what lit up in me was the idea that this is something I want to heal and because of that, I was willing to look for ways to try to heal it. So ask yourself, is there anything today that you are willing to start healing? And if something comes up, let it. If you wanna go into a whole thing about finding out how to heal yourself, taking an action, et cetera, et cetera, you're welcome to, but it starts small. Healing from something like religious trauma which for a lot of us is like decades of conditioning. It doesn't happen overnight. So it's okay if today there's nothing. You don't feel like healing anything today. And it's okay if you find something today and you try it and it doesn't work, okay. You're not doing life wrong. You're not basically bad. You're not healing bad. The world isn't bad. Those are all old mindsets that you no longer need to have. But right here today, ask yourself if there's anything that you are willing to begin healing. And maybe something comes up for you. If it does, drop it below. I always wanna hear what it is that you guys are working on because I always wanna help any way that I can. Um, but that's my video this week, is ask yourself what it is that you are willing to begin healing from. So, thank you so much. As always, um, love having you here. I am working on some stuff specifically for the build your own brain idea that I've had that I have done throughout my life and through my recovery journey. I've just, I'm always in this process of trying to build certain parts of my brain back and that is gonna come soon. I'm gonna announce that really soon. I'm so excited. But thank you guys so much for being with me on this journey. I hope that you feel like I'm with you as well. So thank you and I'll see you next week.